one. So, bought a school bus. Uh, just thought I'd share the process we're going through so far, everything that it's taken to get to this point, uh, or a brief update, you know, see how you guys like it, uh, see if it's worth continuing on. Uh, out here in Arizona, um, really wish I would have done a little bit more research on the uh, process of getting it uh, registered because there you have to get it inspected it's got to be you know have its own power supply off of the engine it's got to have uh you know bathroom a sleeping area a cooking area which is fine i was gonna do those anyways but you know i was planning to maybe you know just throw some stuff in there real quick and maybe take it up to mount lemon for a weekend or something after i first got it you know just excitement of having a bus uh wasn't able to do that a little bit of a bummer but hey that's all right. Um, we're going to do it right. We're going to get all the stuff, uh, get it all put in, I'm doing it on a budget. Uh, so it's not going to be the most glamorous thing, but it's going to get the job done and it's going to definitely be livable. So go ahead and share that with you guys, start her up, show you the process we've been through. And yeah, hope so you enjoy. here she is 2001 international short bus, really nice condition, uh, starts up right on the dime. No problems, AC works fantastic. Uh, we're gonna keep the front area nice and normal. We're not gonna really mess with much of that. Uh, got the front AC there, cruise control. Got the miles, not too bad, 260 right up there. The hours there, all the other controls there. Uh, nice big mirror. Um, I like the openingness of it. We're gonna keep it nice and open. Uh, I like. I like that view when I'm driving, uh, especially bigger vehicles, um, you know, just to be able to see where people are and everything like that, especially motorcyclists, you know what I mean? And smaller vehicles being in something so big, you know, it's good to have as much view as possible. Uh, and then it got the nice gray woodish floor, grayish, I guess you could say nice and messy too for you. Uh, got countertops, huge shout out to my grandparents because I got no idea what I'm doing with carpeting. Uh, helping me out there. Grandmother found a killer sink for $25, nice and stainless steel. Got a Magic Chef stove, four burner, and oven. Gonna hook that bad boy up to propane so we can do you know little pizza parties, you know, bus parties, and then got the 100 gallon water tank. We're gonna have don't know how big yet still looking for them um a gray water and black water black water will probably be under here somewhere by the bathroom and then gray water wherever else uh under here right underneath maybe um got this nice toilet for about 90 bucks on amazon uh, it's got a little side flush and then we're gonna put the toilet in here probably back by the wall and the shower head there somewhere for the water heater or something not too sure yet Got to have our plumber friend come in and figure that out for us. What we can do and get away with. Um, that thing. A little swamp cooler, portable AC unit. Does not cut it for the AZ heat. So we're going to get a window unit because, like I said, on a budget. On a mini split. Uh, got a, It's got that big clunky box on the back. So I'm going to try to conserve as much space as possible. Uh, gonna build a brace inwards since I got this space here behind. Uh, I'm gonna have it inwards so you don't have to take off the uh, AC unit while you're driving around and stuff because it shouldn't come out any further than that uh, there mirror, which should be nice. And then, yeah, got the futon in. Turns out to a bed, which is cool. Holds two people. And then I'm going to have my bed back there in the back. Going to have a old bunk bed, a uh, wooden frame. Going to get it all set up to where the bottom of it is a storage place. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, oh, yeah. Air compressed doors. Super nice. Got the little switch here. Turn it automatic or manual so you can use that or just press it open. Uh, seat here is air compressed. And I got nice two big emergency doors there. Um, this was a vent of some sort, and it looks like they closed it off. There is something on top of the roof, so we'll probably hop up there and see that when 
we check out the area for the solar. Might put an extra van or fent for vent ventilation there. Um, yeah, that's the inside of the bus. Uh, that's what we have done so far. Uh, slowly but surely, we're getting there, uh, getting things done as right as we can and, you know, as good as we can. And it's, you know, coming along so much better than what I would have imagined, honestly. Uh, it's hard work, but it, it's so worth it. You know, you just got to get past that point of, uh, you know, I need it now. Uh, but it's it, it's fun, you know, it's it's fun to get out here and work on the bus with the family and, you know, get that help and be able to really just experience something that's cool. So go ahead and start it up for you and just show you what this thing's all, right, all about. Go ahead and get her started. I'll hold the ignition. It's nice and loosey goosey. Got the primer buzzer. It's all good. Start it. All right. Good start. Nice and strong. Uh, the gentleman that sold me this bus up in Phoenix, uh, fantastic. Couldn't have asked for a better uh, experience. Uh, he took me through everything. He told me things I didn't know. Uh, sat there and answered any question I had. He offered to, even still after I bought the bus, to answer any questions I had after I bought the bus. Anything happened to it, you know, just give me a call. Uh, so, real grateful there. Uh, it's been running good. Drove all the way back from Phoenix. Uh, cruise control, that was a fantastic find. Uh, Got the old camera system hooked up here. Might even put a little, who knows, something, a little storage area. You know, got tons of things on this bus. Uh, nice short bus so you can fit it into national parks that have those uh, lake restrictions, which is nice. Um, yeah, guys, love this bus. Nice 2001 uh, International, which is a great brand. And go ahead and show you some other areas on the control panel area for the whole bus. Uh, we're going to use it to wire in some of the other smaller stuff. And then here we have the battery bank, which has the three batteries that run the entire bus. Uh, we believe one of them ran the hydraulic press and some of the other smaller electronics on it. Uh, we have the rear emergency exit door, which we'll leave open. Uh, that way we can get to electrical and other storage. And then we'll have the bathroom right there, which will be blocked off from being seen from there, but you can still open it from here. And we'll have inner locks uh, built in on all of them so no one can just, you know, come up and open the door. Uh, and then that way we can also fill up the water tank from here. Don't have to cut any holes in the bus. Uh, if you're real muddy or, you know, coming in from the lake or whatnot, you don't want to track it all in through the bus. You can just hop up in there and uh, wash off. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, she's coming along. And yeah, that's about it for the outside. All the little compartments. And like I said, we'll have the water tanks up underneath here. Yeah. Back to the uh, regulations and whatnot for the state of Arizona. Um, they make you pretty much have it uh, full conversion of an RV for you to be able to drive it, have it registered, anything like that. Uh, you have to have it inspected. Um, it's a process. It's lengthy, but it's doable. Uh, definitely, definitely doable. It takes time, money, and a lot of patience for sure. Um, it's easy to get discouraged. It's easy to be like screw this i'm selling it i'm getting rid of it it was a bad idea uh i've seen it on craigslist i've seen a couple you know ads up there like hey selling my schoolie it was too you know too much of a project too expensive whatnot um i was almost down that road uh it was definitely definitely starting to get a little discouraging there once i found out of the regulations and you know possibly have to have a bus endorsement and possibly you know all this stuff but luckily i did enough research with knowing to get a shorter bus not one of the real big long ones because depending on the state you might have to get an endorsement uh to drive it and you can't get into all the national parks which i love national parks i love going camping and hiking and exploring uh that's something that i gotta have so that being said um you know 
the sky's the limit with it. Go get whatever you need that makes it comfortable for you as long as, you know, you, your state regulations and it's drivable on the road so you're not breaking any laws or, you know, getting your bus taken from you. But, you know, make it comfortable for you. Make it what you want. Uh, that's all I can say for it. It's it's fun. It takes time and patience, but You know, it's it's your house, you know, think of it as your home if you're getting into the schooly life or the van life You know as my grandparents got me into it uh, You know, it's it, it's your home, you know, or your second home uh, and So build it how you want it. Uh, it's just a smaller scale, you know, a bit smaller, you know Way smaller than a studio apartment, you know for me. I have my my cats my dog you know, so I'm going to have my AC in it with my generator and whatnot. So I can run my AC all day long for them, you know, if I have to work or if I have to go out and do something while I'm, you know, parked on the property lot. Uh, you know, my grandparents are going to be, you know, nice enough to let me park my bus on here. You know, I'll probably throw them some money for a lot fee, even though they won't let me. But, uh, you know, it's, if you have people to help you, you have, you know, outlets and uh research and you know you do all these things it, it's possible uh just make sure you have a support system for it you know because it gets discouraging you know make sure you know have you know have people that have your back i'm sure you know tell people in your family hey i'm doing a schoolie you know some of them would be like huh why <laughs> what are you doing uh you're crazy but others will you know be like that is awesome you know that is something that has been a dream of mine and you'll be like oh really you know that that's cool you know i, I didn't know that uh but yeah enough being said arizona regulations you have to have a place to prepare your food sleep separate power supply ac heat you know anything an rv would have uh like i said a thousand times it's expensive very expensive uh doable but doable uh, you just have to have patience and perseverance and you got to want it, you know. Uh, it's definitely been a journey so far. I got about estimated about four more months of work on the bus before it's ready to get registered or inspected and told if I'm ready or not. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, fingers crossed on it. Hopefully we get everything to their their standards and their wants. Uh, but with that being said, you know I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope I didn't ramble on too much and lose your interest. Uh, any any comments? You know, love to hear them. You know, what you think about the bus? Anything you think we could be doing different? Any suggestions? You know, if anyone's done any type of RV work or any type of you know conversion work before. Uh, with any friends or themselves you know any anybody out there in the schoolie community who has any suggestions you know we'd love to hear them uh and yeah you know like comment subscribe if you want you know if you want to see more adventures of us struggling through the the times of the bus and the good times and the bad and all that you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join us along the good old journey um definitely going to be posting more videos after the bus is done uh you know different places we're going to go we're planning to go all all over the states uh you know that's the plan you're gonna see it far and wide but you know see you guys later have a good one and hope you enjoyed the video